Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. The Wataru event will be returning, and I'm excited to try out this overpowered class. This class is known for its insane one-shot potential, but how do you play this class? I interviewed my friend Rekram17 to understand how to play and build a Wataru. I'll begin with the interview first, and then at the end, you'll see that 2.1 billion damage hit. Alright, let's begin. What is the origin of your in-game name? He replied, Requiem means funeral mass. I like dark things. Next, why did you choose Wataru? He replied, because I was told it was one of the best jobs for MVP hunting. Next, what are the minimum requirements to play Wataru? He replied, have to buy the job during event. No need for expensive gear for huge damage. This type of inexpensive gear in order to do huge damage is similar to what LBs do with their Machine Revolution and Pioneer build. So it's great that Wataru also doesn't have very high requirements to play this class. Next, how well do you think Wataru performs in boss hunting? He replied, one of the best jobs. Next, how well do you think Wataru performs in weekly PvE content? He replied, Thanatos Tower Legend 1 and 2 easy, and Oracle 1 hit. I agree with Requiem that Wataru does quite well in those instances, but for Lost Isles and Panape Museum Legend, he uses Dagger Dorum before and now Taekwon. His Taekwon's DPS is crazy, and he can quickly mow down the bosses. These are the instances that require continuous DPS classes, and Wataru won't perform very well in them. Next, what is your PvE and boss hunting gear? For his gear, he uses the Dragon Bone Shield with 18% physical damage increase random attribute. He has a nice 3.5% physical damage increase enchant. He uses the Alistar card for big damage against bosses. For armor, he uses the Voodoo Armor for the ignore defense. He has a 15% physical penetration random attribute. He has a nice 20% ignore defense enchant. He uses the Gloom card, which is really nice against some of the high-end MVPs in this game. This is the card that many MVP hunters use. Next for Garment, he uses the Brave Warrior's Pauldron. He has the 12% skill damage random attribute. He has a nice max HP percentage enchant. For card, he uses the Vega Bon Wolf Star card for the big attack percentage bonus. For footgear, he uses Loon's Memorial. He has 6% penetration random attribute. He also has a nice max HP percentage enchant. For card, he uses the Verette card for more HP and SP percentage. Next, for his first accessory, he uses the Pendant of Ugin. He has the 4.5% physical damage increase random attribute. He has a nice sharp blade 3 enchant, and he also has the Ultraman card. Next, for a second accessory, he pretty much has the same thing. A Pendant of Yukin, the physical damage increase random attribute, the sharp blade 3 enchant, and the Ultraman card. For weapon, he uses the Dragon King's sword. He has a nice physical damage increase and sharp blade 3 enchant. For card, he uses two Menorah star cards. For headgear, he uses the Abyssal Cry for nice damage to large monsters and bosses. He also uses the Norman card for more damage to bosses. For face, he uses the Winter Crown for the skill damage. He has a very nice Ignore Defense plus 15% enchant. For mouth, he uses huge bounty for damage to bosses. For back, he uses the Love Goddess with the max HP percentage enchant. For tail, he uses the Rock Bunny for faster move speed and damage. He has a very nice sharp blade too and physical damage increase enchant. For Ancient Relic, he uses waist size for the nice attack percentage. For HP and SP, the reason why that's important is due to how the Dragon King's Rage skill works. His damage is based on your self-destruction damage. 
For self-destruction, it depends on your current HP, which Rekka mentioned is capped at 1 million HP, your current SP, and your VIT. So you do have to balance out your character to make sure you optimize this damage. I've heard people complain about how Wataru power creeps out B's Machine Revolution. Indeed, it does. Machine Revolution only multiplies by 3 instead of by 4 for self-destruction damage. Next, what is your attribute allocation? He maxes Strength, Vitality, and then the remaining into Int. Next, what are your stats and adventure handbook? He has 896,000 HP. He has 4,199 SP. He has an amazing 43,000 attack. He has 66% penetration, 21% skill damage increase, damage is at 233.5%, physical damage increase is at 119.8%, Ignore Defense is at 180.5%. He has 98% Fire Damage, 34% Neutral Damage. Next, here is his Adventure Handbook. He has 90,214 HP. He has 3,663 Attack. He has 97% attack deposits. And he'll keep scrolling down so you can see the rest of it. Even though his adventure handbook is very high, it doesn't mean that a low deposit Wataru wouldn't do well either. It just means you cannot one-shot the high-end MVPs, but you can still do quite well with low-board MVPs because of how well Dragon King's Rage scales. Next, what events, ruins, and Oracle Mirror do you use for PvE and boss hunting? For his advanced ruins, he has the Rapid Armor Ruin, which gives lots of move speed. Next, Machine Restart Star Ruin for allowing restarts to not erase buffs. His Overload Increase also consumes less SP per second with this ruin. Next is the Ballistic Modification Ruin for dealing more arm cannon damage. Next, the Soul Shout Ruin for more strength from Loud Exclamation. Next, the Energy Cannon Ruin with the max 6 limit for some nice burst. Next, the Iron Fist Ruin for more knuckle boost damage. Next, for Oracle Mirror, he has the Death Cat Cape for more HP percentage and the Bill for more boss damage. Next, what skills do you use and what skill rotations do you use? For his skills, here are his Little Savior skills. Next, here is his Rinjin Maru skills. Next, this is what's in his Prepare for Elite. His Prepare for Elite skills include Loud Exclamation, Overthrust, Weapon Perfection, Anti Gravity Armor, and Dragon King Shield. His Manual Bar also includes Circle which is great for redoing your burst, Phoenix Dragon Glacier Sword for some AoE, and Dragon King Form for penetration. His auto bar includes Rujin Maru and Dragon King's Rage. For skill rotation, he says, one, use a Rujin Maru skill to equip the Rotaru armor, two, use Prepare for Elite, three, use Dragon King Form, and four, use Dragon King's Rage which is the big hit skill. Next, what foods do you use? He uses Vitality B, Dex B, Int B, Edgy B, Luck B, and Six Satisfied Feast for penetration percentage. For potions, he has both HP and SP for automatic use. You must keep your HP and SP as high as possible if you want to deal more damage. Next, what pet do you use? He replied, he uses the Rainbow Light Pouring. He has level 10 Upright Cutie for 5% HP, and also level 10 Heart of the Rainbow Stone for 4% attack. Next, 
What is the Wataru achievement that you're most proud of? He replied, one shot Kate. Here you can see Requiem destroying Kate in one shot. Very nice. Next, if you could change something about Wataru in this game, what would it be? He replied, Reduce the cooldown of Dragon King's Rage. Laugh my ass off. And of course he added that final part because it would be really unfair if the cooldown was way too low. Next, where can people find you? He replied, In-game only, Requiem 17. Next, any shoutouts? Shoutouts to Kaboom Kahoon, Haas, Yawn, who has a big PP, FML, and all Hunter NA. Finally, let's see a damage test against a dummy to see how high of a number he can actually get. Here has a target dummy set to demi human, large, and earth. It's also set to MVP. He does prepare for elite, Dragon King's form. Then he Dragon King's Rage for 2.1 billion damage. He hit that dummy so hard that the MVP notification came up. Does that mean he actually killed that dummy? Well, I've never seen this happen when I hit it. Thanks to Requiem for taking the time to be interviewed and providing a ton of videos and photos for this interview. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.